the what is the training program that the National Police went through at Numenia? What did they learn that they hadn't learned before? Right. Uh, it was a combination of, of several things. First of all, uh, they they went down and they got basic skills. You know how, how to shoot their weapons properly. How I mean, just basic things that. Uh, normally, you know, anybody would would go through as part of their basic training before coming into a force. So, so they did that part of it. Uh, also, a lot of policing kinds of things, uh, things related to the rule of law, human rights. You know, how do, you know what, how do you do an arrest? You know, just basic fundamental things that are associated with police operations. Uh, and then they did their first ever collective training where they operated as units, uh, which both has the effect of bonding the unit together, uh, causing there to be, be more trust, more reliability amongst each other, uh, and also giving them uh, collective skills to be able to go out and do operations together in a, in a fairly disciplined way. Who actually made the decision to replace the leadership uh, within the National Police? Was that your decision, or was that Minister uh, Bellani's yeah, decision? Yeah, it was clearly Minister Bellani's decision, uh, and in terms of uh, specifically mm -hmm. who was replaced, mm -hmm. it was uh, General Hussein, uh, who was the new commander of the National Police, uh, Hussein Awadi, uh, definitely made uh, a lot of the recommendations to the minister about who should be removed. Uh, and he based that judgment on many things, uh, some of which in that first assessment phase uh, was survey information where uh, teams went out to each unit, uh, inspected those units, surveyed the units, uh, and these were both coalition teams and Iraqi teams operating independently, who then got together and, and sort of put their results together uh, to see, or, or did we see the same sorts of things, and surprisingly they were uh, very similar results, uh, regardless of which team looked at that unit. The, which team meaning uh, Iraqi or American? Iraqi or, mm -hmm. or coalition. Mm -hmm. uh, both kind of came to the same conclusions in terms of uh, which units mm -hmm. had the weakest leadership uh, and, and which units had, had the weakest uh, performance. What motivated Minister Bellani to take these actions? Well, I think um, I don't really know, he and I haven't really talked about his uh, motivations on this particular aspect too much, but it, it fits in with his overall effort at ministerial reform uh, that he's been pursuing uh, since he, he took over responsibility for the Ministry of Interior. When we say ministerial reform, I can think of many things that come to mind. What are the priorities for ministerial reform within the Ministry of Interior? Well, I, I think the, the first priority is to create uh, what I, in my words, I call a culture of accountability. Um, if you look at the history of the Ministry of Interior, uh, unlike the Ministry of Defense, which basically, you know, when the coalition uh, came in un under CPA authority, sort of wiped out the, the Ministry of Defense and we sort of built it over again, uh, the Ministry of Interior and the other ministries are sort of left over from the old regime. Uh, they weren't kind of the slate wiped clean and started over with. So, so they started with the bureaucratic culture uh, from the days of the regime. Uh, that bureaucratic culture is one where people are not held accountable. Uh, that it, it was designed for regime protection, uh, not for performance. Uh, it was designed where uh, the, the leaders in the Ministry of Interior and the other ministries were not accountable for the rule of law, they were sort of exempt from it. And so part of what uh, the minister wanted to do was to change this culture to one where, number one, people are accountable for performance, uh, and number two, where they are accountable for the rule of law, uh, that they not only enforce the law, but they're accountable themselves uh, for the rule of law. And so, so I think that's one of those big areas of reform uh, that he wanted to do. The second uh, biggest area was to uh, help the Ministry of Interior Forces adjust to their role in this new environment, this new democratic society. Uh, previously in the days of the regime, Interior Forces uh, were, were not the primary forces responsible for interior security of the country. That was primarily Army Forces. And so uh, in this new uh, constitution, uh, this democratic uh, form of government, 
uh, the military's role is to defend the country from e external threats and interior's role is to be in charge of the interior security of the country and so they have to adapt their organization and their culture uh, to become responsible for that and that that includes uh, changing roles and missions of their forces and changing the forces themselves uh, to be focused on enforcing the rule of law uh, equally and universally. 